And news breaking this minute, a case has been filed in the Madras High Court Madurai bench seeking a change of election date from the, for the Madurai constituency due to the date clashing with the temple ritual function. Now, a petition has been filed with the Madras High Court Madurai bench stating that conducting the election on 18th of April will hinder the due process of the temple rituals. The Madras High Court to hear the petition on Tuesday. Meanwhile, many parties have also allegedly approached the election commission to change the election date specifically in Madurai. My colleague Pramod now joins me live with further updates on this. Pramod, first of all, give us a sense of uh, what the petition says uh, that has now been filed in the Madras High Court. Well, the petition is mentioning about something called as Chitre Tirunal. It is a kind of a, like a very big event when it comes to Madurai and the surrounding districts. People from six districts, starting from Madurai to Ramnathapuram to all the way to Theni, will attend this event. And year, every year it falls on 18th and 19th of April. What is Chitre Tirunal? Is that the first year you will have a big event of Minachi Amman Temple, a chariot being taken through the roads. And the second one is called as Aragar Tirunal, where Kal Aragar, another god, will be taken to Vaigai River. And imagine. 20 lakh people attending this event and we are not exactly sure how the election commission missed it because when the chief, uh, chief election commission spoke, uh, he said that like in Delhi that all holidays, all functions, all festivals are taken under consideration and only after this the dates have been announced. But however, we now have a debacle as this particular Chitri Tirunal falls on 18th and 19th. Now, uh, like as we raise this question with Satya Pratha Sahu, who is a chief election officer of the state, he said that he, has, he will immediately uh, seek a report from the election officer of Madurai which we expect the report to like uh, reach his hands by today itself. But however, in the meantime, a petition has been filed with Madras High Court Madhuri Bench, which will be heard tomorrow. And not just that, representatives from various parties have also approached the election officer of Madurai, asking them to change, like uh, uh, think about changing the dates okay. as per the requirement. Because imagine 20 lakh people displaced in one particular day, and that day election falls, definitely not a good thing. Also, Pramod, the, what has been the uh, position of all the parties uh, with this particular case where almost 20, as you said, that this particular temple ritual has 20 lakh people there going and offering for the rituals. Are all parties on board? Are they in consensus in asking the election commission to go ahead and change the dates? Well, until yesterday evening, there was like a lot of confusion with the dates as well. But like after the election commission announced it around 7 p.m., this is when the first like instance was brought forward as to like how could they celebrate it on the 18th. And it was DMK who actually uh, raised this question. But now, as we spoke almost 30 minutes back, representatives from various parties, which also includes AI, DMK and DMK, have approached the election officer of Madurai. They have given a written representation uh, seeking election commission to take adequate decisions to either prepone or postpone the dates apparent, I mean, like only for uh, Madurai constituency uh, so that this will not become an issue. All right, we'll have to wait and watch what the election commission does. Does it take into account the concerns that have been put forth by all the parties who have unanimously asked uh, for sh either shifting of the date or preponing the date as it falls on a major ritual that has been performed in Madurai? We'll have to leave it there, Pramod. Many thanks for joining us. And more news breaking this minute. The Karnataka uh, ha government has been pulled up over secondary treated water from the sewage treatment plants. They have been pulled up for seeking for lifting the stay on the proposal to pump the secondary treated water from the sewage treatment plants of the Bengaluru city to the minor irrigation tanks situated in Kolar district. The Supreme Court bench headed by Ju Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi pulled up the Karnataka's Advocate General for filing the application which even did not mention the correct date. A deputy news editor Minakshi Banja on the phone line. Minakshi, this is clearly embarrassment for the Karnataka government because they have been heavily pulled up by the Supreme Court. What more details can you give us at this point on this case? Well, that's right. Uh, considering that uh, this was something uh, which was a hasty matter for the government of Karnataka and today when uh, it had knocked on the doors of the Supreme Court, uh, clearly this application uh, which uh, the Karnataka government had filed which was seeking a modification of the Supreme Court's 
earlier orders of a stay which was passed on the 19th of January uh, was uh, lacking so much so that uh, we had uh, some sharp observations coming in from uh, this bench headed by honorable chief justice of india ranjan gogoi who has gone ahead and pulled up uh, karnataka's advocate general uh, uday hola and i quote uh, the supreme court said and i quote are you playing around uh, with the court there are no details in your application it is a bland application you do not even mention the correct date of the stay order unquote uh, were the terse uh, observations uh, which the supreme court has uh, come out with uh, the top court has also gone ahead and dismissed uh, this application moved by karnataka seeking a modification of the earlier stay ordered Uh, by the supreme court on the 7th of january uh, with the top court today saying uh, that karnataka's application did not contain adequate materials in support of their plea so uh, clearly this is a bit of a uh, setback for the government of karnataka coming in from the top court all right we we'll leave it there minakshi appreciate you joining us and giving us those details